Hey guys, first off, uh, excuse the mess in here. My wife and I are in the process of moving and the garage seems to become the landing ground for uh, all of our random items that we're trying to organize. So, a little messy in here, but uh, I just finished my desk collection setup and I thought I would share it with you guys. Um, maybe do a little overview so if some of you are considering doing something similar, you can kind of see how it was done and how it performs. The dust collection, uh, the dust collector itself is the Harbor Freight 2 horsepower dust collector that they sell for $200. Um, and you can find 20 and 25% off coupons on the internet. So I walked away spending I think 160 out the door on the dust collector. And then I made it a few upgrades. One of those being the, uh, the Win Environmental 35A, I think that's the 80-20 um, blend uh, pleated filter. So this thing filters down to 0.5 microns, which is a huge improvement over the stock bag. I think the stock bag is 5 microns. So you'll still end up with um, you know, the really fine dust uh, being expelled from the bag and it'll settle on everything. So this thing really improves the air quality and also the flow rate is dramatically improved because of the increased surface area. Uh, so well worth the upgrade. I mean, it co the filter itself costs as much as the um, dust collector, but definitely worth it if you're going to go this route. So between the filter, the trash can, the dust collector, and the random hardware, I think I have around 350 tied up in this. Um, and some of the most of the wood was actually scraps, but uh, so about 350. Maybe you can walk away spending 375 um, if you had to buy the wood. So. Well, well worth it compared to some of the other um, commercial two-stage uh, options that are available. Uh, so I'll just do a brief overview. Basically, the cart dimensions are basically the same as the metal ones that come with the Harbor Freight system. So I think I did a little bit wider. I think the stock cart was maybe 20 inches. Um, I made mine maybe 22 or 24, and then it's 44 inches in length. Um, I could have maybe gone a little bit narrower um, and had the side of the um, actual bag and filter hang over the edge, but this this seems fine. It's not, you know, a couple inches space savings wasn't really worth it in my mind. So uh, it's basically all made from three quarter inch plywood, uh, two by four frame on the bottom, and I just bolted in the casters with the uh, wood screws, uh, three, uh, three, uh, two by four frame with three quarter inch plywood on top. Uh, two by four framing throughout, and then um, and then the three quarter inch plywood there, and you can see it just bolts through for the motor mount. Uh, I eat, for the thine baffle, I used a four inch ninety degree elbow with a five inch five inch here to a four inch is re internally reduced, and then the lip of that sits um, on the uh, plywood base. So uh, and then so everything's in line, basically goes straight up. And then this is also a straight shot. This, I made the motor, unfortunately, is a little bit high. So to get this thing really to line up flush, this is just duct tape here for the time being. But to get this really lined up flush, I had to tilt it back. So this actually isn't perfectly level. It's tilted uh, in this direction just a little bit. Uh, and I didn't have the option really to lower. I didn't want to drill holes to lower it, you know, a quarter of an inch to get it to line up perfect. But other than that, everything's pretty much perfectly in line. Um, and then to remove this setup, I'll show you. Let me set the camera down and you can kind of see how it comes off here. So, so basically, pull that out of the way. So basically I just loosen the screws here on the five inch hose, and this is the stock hose that came with it, and I just scrunch it down and tilt, tilt it back till it clears, so you can see it clears here, and then I just grab the sides of the, of the trash can and pull it out. And there it is. And then here is the actual um, baffle setup. So it's a six inch drop. I use two pieces of... Uh, two pieces of half inch plywood that I had um, with an inner and outer lip. Uh, it's basically, I would have liked for the center to drop down 
Right now it's exposed one and three quarter inches. Uh, ideally, you're supposed to do half the diameter of the actual um, size of the uh, port here. So if it's a four inch port, it should drop two inches. Right now it's only dropping an inch and three quarter. Not a big deal. Uh, six inch drop, three quarter inch clearance between the sides for the 90 degree elbow. And then, uh, I don't know, I got a couple fingers, maybe half inch clearance on the bottom. And so far it's worked fine. I just used... I think um, 516 threaded rod, all thread, and then, yeah. So I'll show you how, how it functions. It works pretty well. So the bag on here is basically empty. I have just a little, little tiny bit of dust. Let's see, you can, see, I've already ran this test once. So there's very fine amount of dust here, and then just very little at the bottom in there. So uh, I'll show you how effective it is. So I have, here's just a pile of sawdust, um, and I'll show you how effective it is at uh, filtering out those really fine particles. So let me plug this back in. You can see how I reinstall it. Filter back, push, squirt that down slide it into place and then raise it and that's it so it's, it's really easy for for changing it back and forth so show you there let's turn it on wind down. In terms of um, suction, I would say that that with the wind filter I had an improvement in, in airflow. By setting everything in line here I also had a, another improvement in airflow. Uh, but then adding the thigh and baffle reduced it. So I'd say I'm back at, at stock levels again. Uh, so I'm happy. It's worth it. The two stage separation is is worth the slight loss in suction. Um, which you make up if you put everything in line like this. So let's take a look at uh, how much dust is in here. So it's pretty much the same as it was before. Maybe a, maybe a slight bit more, um, but not much. And then I'll pull the trash, I'll pull the baffle out and the can out so you can see how much actually ends up. back in the can. And then there it is. So you can see the majority, the majority of the dust is back in the can. Very little has ever made it to the, uh, to the bag. And I ran that test twice. So everything in here is basically the remnants of double double that amount. So I would say well over 90% of the um, of the particles. So a huge improvement. Uh, definitely worth the cash. Uh, I would say if you're going to choose between doing the thyme baffle, I would say do the thyme baffle first and then go the wind filter if you're going to go that route. Um, just Just my preference but if you can do, afford to do both, I'd say go for it. So, just thought I'd kind of throw that out there. I'll try to get some more detailed uh, numbers, but but there you go. So, 
uh, Harbor Freight 2 horsepower dust collector with thyme baffle on a 31 gallon galvanized trash can with the uh, wind environmental 35A uh, 0.5 micron filter. So $350 for a two stage dust collection setup and you can't beat it. Alright, good luck.